morning or afternoon here. So I'm in uh, another secret location here. Came here last week. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go look around a little more. Uh, so I'm gonna turn this around. Maybe. Uh, I guess I'm turn around. There's a little one right here, and I found another one over yonder. So what I'm gonna do is just take a quick look around. Pick this guy. Look at that little guy. Sometimes they don't get much bigger than that. Oh, there's one hill. See how that comes out later. These aren't very high quality ones. I should have probably got a little further in here when I was here last. But yeah. So basically, I'm going to be just walking around here because I found one. Usually when you find one, anyway, it's a light, light rain out today. I don't know if you're paying attention to my last video, I'm trying to get a job at this food testing laboratory. I had an interview today. I think it went pretty well, but we'll see. It was a video conference interview. Oh, I'm all stuck up. Had a couple technical difficulties, but... I think I got my point across that I'm a pretty good worker and I don't know they say it's like a like a starting position but like I, man I just work as a carpenter I'm door dashing right now like I'll, I'll do anything look at these little guys here though there's another one yeah there's another one you know what I'm gonna oh here's another one this is about as big as I think these guys will go maybe Maybe some I'll leave, but it's just so, so hard to find them again that sometimes, especially when it's going to rain again, and the general mycelium could probably produce a whole bigger one, it's good to just, you know, harvest. I feel like. But anyway, this spot's got a lot of potential here, and something in my last video maybe you saw, I was looking at a tree, and the trees, they don't have leaves yet, so it's a lot harder to tell what, what they are. This guy right here looks just like this, and I said, "Oh, it's an ash tree because it's got the veins and it's got the diamond pattern." Uh, it's not necessarily true. It's, this is probably a walnut tree. The last one's probably a walnut tree too. You can see here, walnut. And walnut trees, I find a lot around the morels. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact that the walnuts themselves have sort of a anti. Anti um, grass growing, like it's a herbicidal properties to it, so it makes the grass grow not as much. So there's more dirt that the morels like have a chance to to pop with. So I find it a lot. But the walnuts are around them, and they, they look a lot like ash trees. So you only have to remember a few things. I'm going to take these little ones because I like them a lot in soups. They dry out quick and easy. And they're just going to go to Garbaggio. I guess that is working. A little dirt's alright. You dry off. Hit it with a toothbrush. But, yeah. I'm real excited for this job if I get it. I'll know in two days. And uh, i got to like write a little thank you letter. Maybe send out tonight. <coughs> to them maybe. But, uh, anyway, I figured I had to get out here because it's raining out and I'm thinking about this spot. I drove by it and I realized that I didn't get all the way into the woods like I could have. There's one. I might have stepped on this one, but... That's my best bet to to film in that, maybe. Whatever. Maybe I'll get myself a little sword or something. I can get him from a distance, like a shot. But anyway, these ones must have just grown up since I came back around.
Look at this one. Dried in place. Yeah. It's meaty. So yeah, this is my little honey hole for now. These aren't the biggest ones because this is supposed to be the first flush. And you can see this one's drying out. It's not gonna, not gonna get any bigger really. So these are also black or gray morels. <laughs> Almost stepped right on. And they're dried because it was pretty dry out, but you know, they have a possibility of getting a little bigger maybe with this rain here coming. But it's just so much walking and uh, there's a good amount of meat here. There, if I were to dry out a bigger one after two or three days, if that survived and dried out, I wouldn't get much more than I would get right there, I think. But maybe the rain will bring new ones or maybe I'm chopping down ones that could have got big. I don't know. Uh, I know I gotta eat though, so um, this is gonna, gonna be a good spot for me. I feel. So yeah, if you want to know any spots, just hit me up. I'll fucking. Oop. I mean, I will uh, take a look at a map for you. Just give me your location. Not a problem at all. It doesn't take me long to find spots. Basically, you just look for woods and trails on a map. Try to get back there eventually. There's a sticking rod. Yeah, they thought. <clears throat> and something you should notice is they really like growing these little flowers. You can see the little flowers and. There's also these guys right here that grow up into these uh, plants that trap bugs. And they're a really good indicator. You see one right here. That's right, this guy right here. He'll trap a bug in there. I can eat him all day. It's just a good indicator of the soil types. And I find a lot of walnuts too. Dead branches. And another thing that you probably can't see with the video texture is. The water, like it moves through here, but it doesn't stay anywhere. It, like goes through the ground, good drainage. But also, like the water comes through here, it's focused through this little kind of gully or something. I don't know. Just things you pick up in mushrooms. They love good drainage soil, and... but it also needs to get wet sometimes. Pretty predictable, really. But the biggest thing is you just gotta get off the couch, roll up in here, you know, take my mushroom spot. I don't care, I'll walk further. You don't know me. You don't know how far I can walk. How many couches I can get off of. Let's hope I don't step on any. Look at this one. This is actually a phenomena. I don't want to stop myself. I'll put that in my pocket. Of a, of a morel. This is called two foot. It means two of them grew into each other. They remain in their stocks as one. So they grow into each other. I don't know how fast it takes, but I can't really come up with any other theories about how two, two mushrooms become one like the morels. All the time they grow into each other. Alright. Back to base camp. Another load. Yeah. Some of these are grays, but they could be little goldens too, but I don't know. Got one in the bag. Put it in the bag right now. I'm gonna take this hat off. It's getting all tangled up in my business. I think that's probably about good for today. I'm gonna keep walking through here. I don't know what I'll find. These have been the little ones, but I'll probably find some big ones too, so. Later. Yeah, check this out. Got this guy going in here. It's a good thing I came today. He's got this guy going down here. He just fell over. These are the ripest they can get. So they just fell over, and that's the biggest they gonna get. 
But uh, all I did is just follow where the, where the water goes. And bang! There's another big one down there, but it's, when I seen these, you know, I'm gonna try to add them on that little video I got there, so. So we're back in the homestead. Here's the booty of the day. Wish you could have joined me for the whole thing, but I don't really have that sophisticated video equipment. Anyway, it's been a pretty good day. It's a new spot, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm going to dry some of these out. Some of these I'm going to cut in half and put in some brine. And I'm going to put flour on them, some salt, and pepper, and I put them in, in here. Just let them look like and they're done. And I'm doing this with the big ones because then you put them on like a hamburger or something. But dang, like, look at that. It's a morel popsicle. Anyway. Been a good day. Hope yours is good too.